Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ala. Today I am doing this beautiful soft lilac eye on fair skin and fair golden olive skin. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. I already went in with this Say Sun Visor. It's an SPF. I wanted to go over it with this RMS Super Tint. And it's another SPF in SPF 50. I wanted to test it out again because I just really did not have a good experience the first two times that I used it. It's just a really thick product. That was one pump. I'm going to just keep trying it and see if I can find a way that works the best. I'm going to go wet my sponge really quick. I'm hoping that with a wet sponge, going to get better result. I usually use dry sponges for my foundation. If the foundation is good, it should work well even with a dry sponge. And now this one, it's not exactly a foundation. It is just a tint and it is SPF. So kind of have to understand what our products are, but it just sits too much on the surface for me to enjoy it as a tint or even as a foundation. And I know it's not behaving that way on everyone so it's got to be just a skin preference thing so i'm going to give it another try with a wet sponge and then see what it looks like it does seem to look a lot nicer and smoother with a wet sponge i've tried brush i've tried my fingers i've tried a dry sponge so far the wet sponge on me looks the best and i do have dry skin and again there are different types of dry skin so it really just depends on what type of skin you have and what will look nice on it and what doesn't this one seems to sit right on top right on the surface this skin tint by rms and i'm not into that at all i like it to disappear i like it to blend into the skin like the bare minerals Complexion Rescue. That one is absolutely beautiful. It looks like nothing. The Hourglass Veil. That one is even prettier. To me, it's even prettier. It does have less coverage, so again, it just depends on what you're looking for. They're both really beautiful. My two favorites are the Bare Minerals and the Complexion Rest, or the Bare Minerals and the Hourglass Veil. But the Rose Ink Serum Tint is also very, very beautiful. There are three very different kinds of tints and three very beautiful. This one, I thought I was hoping it would be lightweight like the House Labs foundation. For an SPF, it's just not lightweight enough. I Yeah, it, it's definitely heavy. I'm gonna do my eyebrows with this L'Oreal Brow Stylist. The brows are all done. Before I do anything else, I think I might just do my blush. I'm doing this Makeup by Mario in Pinch Me Pink. It's such a pretty uh, warm pink. It's really, really pretty and it's definitely buildable. It just has this beautiful, it brings life to your face. I don't even know, it's self-explanatory. You just see it and fall in love with that color so so pretty I wish that and I've mentioned this one other time but I wish that Patrick Ta's blushes were like this where they were buildable but they're not they're so pigmented that it just looks clownish on fair skin and nobody's really saying it I guess they like struggling when applying blush but I don't, I like it buildable, I like it soft, and I like it looking natural. And I'm sure a lot of other fair skin people feel the same, only because it's just, it just looks too much too fast and you can't really work with the product if it comes out and then you can't even take it back, you've already applied too much. So I am now just going in with my Kosas powder 
and setting everything down because I have a powder bronzer that I wanted to use again. So I'm just gonna get it all set down so it doesn't have any places that it sticks to too much anyways. Really pretty and diffused. I mean, you could just leave it at that if you don't like bronzer. That alone looks really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to do my lip uh, next, which I know there's, I go in all sorts of random directions. This is the Pat McGrath Lip Liner in Contour. Gonna leave that there and this is the lipstick by Ravi Beauty and it's the color Dahlia. And it's just a really beautiful mauve. My lips were just too dry to put this off any longer. These lipsticks are so nice. I say it every time. They just feel beautiful. And there really is no comparison between the Ravi lipsticks and the Lisa Eldridge balms. They're not the same. I like these are much more hydrating for sure. So the Hourglass bronzer, I'm using the Diffused Bronze Light. I used this one other time I'm going to use somewhat of a fluffy brush. This is the mini, because I wanted to just test out the color on fair skin. I hope it's like showing up enough. Just do a little bit under here. Yeah, that looks really nice. It all it all these hourglass bronzer. That's like even if the color is a little bit off, which this one I'm not saying it is, it's really pretty, then it just looks so beautiful and flawless. My goodness. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of highlight, which I always do. This or I try to. It, it, this is the Ilia in the color Decades. Just adds a pop to that soft pink cheek and it just kind of brings it to life some more if that's even possible. This is really such a beautiful formula. I am curious about their cream bronzer and highlight but I'm not that much of a cream person so I don't think I'll be getting the highlighter, if anything, the bronzer, but it takes a lot for me to buy a cream highlight because I just don't use them. I'm going to use this Mothership um, palette by Pat McGrath. This one I feel like is absolutely perfect for olive skin tones. And I can't decide on what color. Maybe I'll just go with that purple. I found that with that purple, I mean, it looks like a blue purple shift. It's a purple with a blue shift. Um, it's really pretty, but you can't, well, do whatever you want with makeup. But for me, because I like a natural, but beautiful, like a softer glam look, then this color alone looks the best instead of, so I'm just going straight in with a, a fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply it and I'll show you that it looks really the best on its own. So if you have fair skin and you want that bluish purple to show, I would just stick to that color alone because if you start adding and layering the browns and whatever that's in this palette, it just looks way too much too fast and then you can't take it back and then you're stuck with all this like darkness on your eyes. Sometimes just one color out of the 
eyeshadow palette is all you need to get a beautiful, subtle, but colorful look. See that? It's just so, so pretty. But you can obviously build it up and it really turns into like this really intense dark. If you can believe it, it's a dark color. It's a really dark color. So this one really stands, looks the best in my opinion, alone. Not with any layering of like other darker, uh, not darker, but just like what I mean is if you wanted to add this or this first in the crease, the layering makes this purple too dark. And that, those are not usually the looks that I go for, unless I'm doing purposefully like a smoky eye. But just that alone, oh my goodness, look how pretty. Again, on fair skin, it's so pretty, but on olive skin, that's, you know, what I'm trying to help point out to you guys are the colors that just make it look striking on olive skin if you have it. And of course, I do have the golden olive skin. There's another young lady on YouTube and she has cool tone olive skin. And boy, I had no idea that there were that many types of olive skin tones. I had no idea. I thought perhaps that they were all warm tones. I had no idea that there were cool tones. So that's really nice that there's that variety so that everyone has like an example that they could look to and kind of learn from and observe. Just look how pretty that color is. And I leave it at that. I'm not even gonna like go in with my finger and add more because it just is too much. I'm gonna get the champagne color there in the corner and just add it right here and bring a bit of brightness to the corner and that's that's it. I, I can't get over it, it's so pretty, so pretty. I'm going to add some brown eyeliner. This is by Wonderskin. Actually, I'm gonna pick a different color. Never mind. I'm going to do the Sephora Collection uh, brown. This is a bit darker than that one, so I wanted to use a little bit of a darker brown eyeliner. Going to do the Benefit Fan Fest as the final step to this makeup look. And that is the makeup all complete. I think it turned out so nice. I didn't really know what direction I was going in today, but the pink blush was kind of my inspiration. And that palette, that Mothership palette, is definitely one of my most used palettes because even though the colors look crazy, if you apply them in a soft layer, they all look super wearable and very normal. And they don't look crazy like that purple. You wouldn't have thought that it could look so soft and gentle and, and feminine and beautiful. And that is one of my favorite things about that palette is it's very buildable if you wanted to. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking my channel. I appreciate you, you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.